this is Hannah, Hannah vs. the Many. That's, you know that because it's there in the YouTube name. That's why you've come to this is because you've clicked on it because I put it on social media and you saw it because you know me. Things from the very exciting office where I work. Um, I'm doing a nine to five gig these days, which means frequently on Friday nights, uh, once everyone else has evacuated the office, I sit here in this chair next to this fridge in front of this giant mirror and uh, put makeup on my face so that I can go from business extremely casual to uh, glam rock light, if you will. Um, and since YouTube makeup videos are kind of a guilty pleasure of mine, I thought it might be fun to do a video showing you exactly what that looks like and what kind of products I use. And um, I'm very, very excited about the product thing personally today uh, because Sephora just had their sale and I just bought a bunch of stuff. So not only have I ever never done a video like this before, I'm also using a bunch of makeup I've never tried before. So this might be a complete nutter sh But let's get going. Um, so I recently acquired the Tarte Shape Tape that everybody's talking about on the internet. I like it okay. It's not like the greatest concealer I've ever tried in my life. It's fine. Um, so yeah. Um, Tonight, I'm not singing with my band. I am singing with Norwood. That's my friend Chris Norwood's band. Um, and they are significantly folkier than anything that I do. Um, so it's super fun to get to sing back up with Chris. He and I have been friends for ever and ever and ever and ever and ever. <laughs> Possibly too long. Um, and I really, really like singing with him. His music is incredible. Um, I'm gonna put a link to his music in the uh, notes for this video so you can find him if you're so inclined. Um, do I look? normal yet. What do you think? Do I look normal yet? The, the goal is to bring myself back to normal and then uh, go on from there to somehow become like a Susie Sue Ingrid Bergman hybrid. Like that's sort of my goal aesthetic. <laughs> Never quite sure if that's even possible or if I am succeeding at it these days. That's fine. I look fine. It's fine. And in fact, as it turns out, I don't have anything to put this blush on with. Uh, so I'm just gonna go ahead and say that I am the correct level of pink and put this back in my bag. I got nothing. Um, I have this Urban Decay Primer Potion. This is another thing that everybody talks about on the internet all the time. And because I am easily persuaded, I thought, oh, I should get some of that too. And they had it at Nordstrom's Rack for half what it usually costs. You'll find a couple of recurring themes as we go through this. One is that I use a lot of sample size products that I got for free. And two is that I have a lot of things that I bought at Nordstrom's Rack for half what they usually cost. So this stuff, in case you've never watched a YouTube makeup tutorial before, um, is something you put on your eyeballs, or rather the lids on your eyeballs. Don't put it directly on your eyeballs, that's gonna sting. And uh, it makes your eyeshadow nicer, like it makes it last longer and makes the color stand out more. Um, it works more or less. I don't, you know, you see girls on the internet look freaking out over things like this and um, I don't necessarily think that a lot of the things that people freak out over are necessarily freak out worthy. Like I use them and I go, oh, this didn't make me into an entirely different person. What's the point of it? This is a Lorac eyeshadow palette that once again, I got at Nordstrom's Rack for half what it usually costs. So, like I said, Chris's music is a little bit folkier than mine, and, well, actually a lot folkier than mine. <laughs> and whereas with my band, I do like big dramatic eye looks, because it's fun to do big dramatic eye looks. Um, when I'm singing back up in someone else's band, I feel like it's probably better if I keep things a little more subdued. So I'm going to do a smoky eye with a bold lip, and it's gonna be, uh, it's gonna be serviceable. I'm gonna look like a person with a face who put in some effort. So yeah, I used this little guy on my eyelids, and I'm gonna use this little guy and put it in my eye socket for dimensional purposes. Um, I did not bring my full collection of eyeshadow brushes, not that I have many more than this, but I do have a few more than this. So I'm just gonna use my fingers, cause, cause I'm putting makeup on in the corner of an office next to a toaster oven under fluorescent lights. I live a very glamorous lifestyle. If, you, if you're watching this, it means I learned how to edit over the weekend. Go team.
Yay. Self-indulgent narcissistic madness. Yay. So, another thing I got recently, I buy, I buy a lot of makeup. It's, it's shameful how much makeup I buy. Um, I wanted to get like a Kajal Cold pencil, and this is the one from Sonia Kashuk. I got it at Target, it was eight bucks. I think it works pretty well for an $8 eyeliner, I gotta say. I don't know what you were expecting. I said at the beginning this was gonna be makeup. Don't do that, you're not supposed to do that. I heard on the internet you're not supposed to pull at your eyes like that when you put on eyeliner because it's gonna like give you wrinkles and stuff. I'm 34, I have wrinkles. Those look like eyes. Okay. Yeah, that looks all right. I'm doing it. I'm doing it. I'm gonna put more brown on it. That's a very strange sentence out of context. Let's not think about it too hard. Fortunately, you're receiving it in context and don't have to worry about it. I forgot to bring my eyelash curler. <laughs> Once again, <laughs> tiny sample. Mascara is too damn expensive, so I just keep getting tiny samples and using them. This is, what is this? It's a Sephora brand, Length and Volume. Uh, I got it in a beauty box. It's like two inches long. <laughs> also, there's a, um, a makeup forum internet conspiracy that uh, makeup companies specifically make their tiny formulas, their travel formulas, nicer, so that when you buy that, you go, oh, I'll buy the full size, and the full size is crummy. Um, I don't know if there's any validity to that, but it's something that people think on the internet. It's the chemtrail of the makeup world. You can't see half of what I'm doing because I'm doing it into this mirror. I'm very sorry about that in case you wanted to actually know how to do this eye look. <laughs> that being the point of makeup tutorials, largely. Hey, guess what I have? 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 It's another sample! It's a benefit gimme brow and it was given to me for free by my friend Meg who just had one lying around and she said this is too light for me and I went well I'm a blonde at the moment this will do. Okay, so if you'll remember back in the beginning of the video where I said that uh, I had things in my bag that I had never used before not only do I mean this product, which is a tiny Kevin Aquan uh, contour and highlight palette, uh, I also mean contour ever. I've, I've never contoured before. So we're going to see if I can figure it out, and it's going to be an adventure we're all going to experience together, you and me and the rest of the internet. So yeah, I'm not 100% sure what I'm doing here. Um, also, fun fact before I get into this, so I, I, the Sephora has their 10% off sale for Beauty Insiders going on right now. And I got this guy, and I got a Sunday Riley kit, and I got um, a lip pencil that you see in a minute, and then I got home, and I took it all out, and I spread it out on my bed, and I realized that I'd spent $80 on sample sizes. Hi, Mom. <laughs> got this thing. It's like that. And then we'll flick up. Huh. All right. I think I could have done a better job of placing that, but like that looks not insane. That looks purposeful, I think. I did it on purpose, so. Okay, I did better on that side somehow. Blend up. I know to blend up because I was drunk in a Sephora recently with my aforementioned friend Meg, and I tried to put some of this on my face with my fingers, and she kept going, blend up, blend up, blend up. So that's apparently how you're supposed to do it. Okay. Well, I'm not 100% sure if that actually did anything or not. Probably because I'm bad at putting it on. Do I look more gaunt to you? Did that do anything? 
Let me know in the comments if I look more gaunt to you. Let's get ready for another tiny sample size makeup. Uh, this is the Becca, what is even the name of this thing? It's the thing everybody has, the Becca, Becca Shimmering Skin Perfector Pressed in Opal, and it was free. And I'm very excited that it was free because these things are incredibly expensive. This is not an appropriate brush to be putting on highlight with, but too bad. Also, it's the blush that I, it's the brush that I blended my contour with, so it's probably just making a huge mess of everything. Ooh, cheekbones. I can see it better in the video camera than I can see it in the moon, you don't care. Let's put some more on, cheekbones. <laughs> I'm gonna put this on the internet for people to watch. It's a thing that I'm gonna do later. <laughs> Okay, so, oh no, I left it in my purse. Hang on, stay there, don't go anywhere. Another tiny sample size. <laughs> I'm cheap. So, I don't usually wear liquid lipsticks, but I really like this color. This is Stila. Uh, Stay All Day Liquid Lipstick in Beso. It's really pretty. It's this really nice bright red. And I thought it would go well with my stripy shirt and my smoky eye. So we're doing it. Um, this is the uh, tiny sample size lip liner I got along with my $80 of for all. <laughs> I'm an adult. Okay, that's one step down. Oh, I got it all over the side of it. It's not pretty anymore. Hmm. See, so pretty. Bright red. I think I put too much concealer on under my eyes. It's starting to look a little baby Jane. All right, well I've decided that looks more or less fine. I'm gonna leave now because I've been here since nine o'clock this morning. Uh, yeah, I'm going to put in some footage from the show tonight and then I will check back in with you later. <laughs>
I smeared it. Now everyone will know that I'm an imperfect person. 